Hi everyone, my name is Karis and welcome back to my corner of the internet where I talk about books and other things that I enjoy. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the first half of my unread books. So all of the unread books that I currently have in my parents house where I am now. I did film this a few days ago so when I start talking about the books I will be switching to a different outfit. This is because I initially thought I would do one big video combining the books here with the books at my flat but I've now decided that logistically it's just going to be better if I show these books and then film that video separately and do that as a part two just because I don't actually know timing wise when I'm going to have chance to film that and because I have all this footage I just want to edit it and get it up so I hope that's okay hopefully it won't be too long until a part two and I do still have over 100 books here at my parents I haven't read so plenty to show you so without any further ado I'll just get into showing you all the books. In the Penguin Drop Cups collection, I've got My Antonia by Willa Cather, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, Middlemarch by George Eliot, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Siddhartha by Herman Hess, An Artist of the Floating World by Kazuo Ishiguro, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, Native Speaker by Chang Grey Lee, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, Five Children and It by E. Nesbitt, Butterfield 8 by John O'Hara, Swan's Way by Marcel Proust, and The Greek Coffin Mystery by Ellery Queen. Also up there I have a couple of other classics and the ones of those that I haven't read are like half of Bleak House by Charles Dickens. I read half of it when I was at uni, I was meant to read the whole thing but didn't. So yeah, probably never going to finish it but this copy is really pretty. <laughs> the Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, and finally for that shelf, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I've literally already knocked the camera off the tripod, so we love that. But the only other things on this whole bookshelf that I haven't read are the books from six onwards in the Murder Most and Ladylike series by Robin Stevens. I'm not going to pull them all out, but I think I've got five left to complete the series. Then I've got a few unread de Maurier's. I've got The Loving Spirit, Frenchman's Creek, and then I do have this copy of Marianne, but I wouldn't read from this. I just bought it from like a second-hand bookshop because I thought it was a really cool copy. But when I get around to reading this one, I will get myself another edition of it. And then also I've got The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwong on this bookshelf as well. Then at the bottom, I've got the Game of Thrones series and I haven't read any of them apart from the first one. So again, I'm not gonna pull all those out, but I have them as well. And then everything else on this bookshelf I've read. So actually doing quite well so far. So I'm just gonna show you all of the other books now from my main bookshelves in this house. I'm not gonna talk through like what's on which shelf or anything. I've got White Teeth by Zadie Smith, 1984 by George Orwell, Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter, Mr. Tender's Girl by Carter Wilson, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, In Bitter Chill by Sarah Ward, Those Girls by Chevy Stevens, I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh, After Anna by Alex Lake, Killing Kate by Alex Lake, You by Caroline Kepnes, The Grown Up, Sharp Objects and Dark Places all by Gillian Flynn, The Arsonist by Stephanie Oakes, The Red House by Mark Haddon, We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, the Wasp Factory by Ian Banks, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, True Story by Kate Reed Petty, Dead Famous by Greg Jenner, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher, Uncanny Valley by Anna Vina, My Life as a Traitor by Zara Garamani, Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, Firsts by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn, The First Time She Drowned by Kerry Kletter, Wrecked by Maria Padian, My Favourite Manson Girl by Alison Uminger, When by Victoria Laurie, Liars Inc by Paula Stokes, Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley, A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGuinness, People Like Her by Ellery Lord, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. The Antil by Julianne Paccio. His Only Wife by Peace Adzo Medi. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Voices of the Lost by Hoda Barakat. She Will Soar, a poetry anthology which I've read maybe a third of. This Must Be The Place by Maggie O'Farrell. The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. The Powerpuff Girls, <laughs> Bubbles' first unicorn friend. I don't know why I own this, but... I do, so 
there's that. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett. Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. The Adventurers and the Cursed Castle by Gemma Hatt. The Clockwork Sparrow by Catherine Woodfine. Hollow City and uh, Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. The Ask and the Answer and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. I also haven't read the first one, but I think that's with one of my friends. I'm pretty sure it's not in my flat either. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Furthermore by Tahara Murphy. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. The Witch's Kiss by Catherine and Elizabeth Kaur. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Leaving by Tara Hillenbrandt. Cinderella is Dead by Callian Bayron. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. The Perfectionist and the Good Girls by Sarah Shepard. The Amateurs also by Sarah Shepard. Moth Girls by Anne Cassidy. Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell. The Drowning of Arthur Braxton by Caroline Smales. With Malice by Eileen Cook. Dangerous Boys by Abigail Haas. The Impossible Knife of Memory and Catalyst, both by Laurie House Anderson. Seed by Lisa Heathfield. Light of a Starling, also by Lisa Heathfield. Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarten. Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn. 13 Minutes by Sarah Pimbra. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandeya Manon. Night Hours by Jem Bennett. Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetes. Lydia by Natasha Farrant. Infinite Sky by CJ Flood. The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Remix by Non Pratt. Margot and Me by Juno Dawson. Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. Girl Detached by Manuela Salvi. Underwater by Marissa Reichart. Faceless by Alyssa Scheinmal. Pet by Aquaki Amezi. Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Guard Your Heart by Sue Divin. Almost Love by Louise O'Neill. The Entire Brown Sisters Trilogy by Talia Hibbert. Bridgerton, <laughs> The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Saltwater by Jessica Andrews. Girl Woman Other by Bernadine Evaristo. My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyen Quinn Braithwaite. Winter in Sokcho, which is the coolest cover, by Alyssa Schuert Dussapan. An American Marriage by Thierry Jones. Welcome to Lagos by Chihunda Anuzo. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Big Girl, Small Town by Michelle Gallen. We Can Only Save Ourselves by Alison Wisdom. If I Had Your Face by Francis Shaw. The Perfect Life of Muako Samida by Clarissa Gurnawan. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. The Solitaire Mystery by Yerstein Gerda. A People's History of Heaven by Matangi Subramanian. The Bluest Eye and Beloved, both by Toni Morrison. Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Everything Is Illuminated by Jonathan Saffron Faye. The Foundling by Stacey Halls. Conjure Women by Afika Atakora. Six Tudor Queens, Jane Seymour and Catherine Howard. I also have Catherine Parr here and I have Anne of Cleves in my flat. The Wonder by Emma Donoghue. Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. A Little Life by Hanya Yanigihara. My Biggest Book, The Eighth Life for Brilka by Nino Haritishvili. Divided by Tim Marshall. The Romanovs by Simon Montefiore. Girls and Sex by Peggy Orenstein. The Address Book by Deirdre Mask. Eat Up by Ruby Tando. After Auschwitz by Eva Schloss. The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. And finally, Pep Talks for Writers by Grant Faulkner. And that is it. All of the unread books at my parents' house. As I said, do stay tuned for part two where I show you all of the unknown books at my flat. Hopefully sometime in the next few weeks I'll be able to get that filmed and edited because I am going to be back there. I don't think I've got as many books there but I do still have a fair few so I think it will still be enough to make a whole video for sure. If you've read any of these books and there are any that you think I should prioritise please let me know in the comments or just leave me an emoji to let me know that you've watched the video. Other than that though that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all keeping safe and staying well and I will see you again next time. Bye!